Alright, I intend this to be my first in a brief series of videos uh, concerning some game room ideas. This is not a game room walkthrough of my own. Um, I've got a pretty decent uh, game collection, but nothing that compares to some of the heavy hitters that are on YouTube currently. So, these are just ideas that I use or that I've come up with that I thought might be beneficial to someone who is doing a nice display room for their video game stuff. I have the deluxe version of the Wii U, um, and that deluxe version comes with two things. It comes with the, a docking cradle for the gamepad, uh, so you can charge it, all, and that's pretty much what I keep it in all the time. It also comes with this uh, gamepad stand. Um, because I use the charger all the time, I, I really couldn't come up with a reason to keep this around. Um, but I got to look at it one day, and I thought maybe it would be a good stand for something else. So I checked with all of my, my handheld consoles and discovered that it makes a very nice display stand for uh, your modern handhelds. Uh, this is my PS Vita, and it sits right in there. If I wanted to have this on a shelf as a display item, um, I would much rather have it standing up like that than just laying flat on the shelf. I've seen some uh, game room videos with guys, maybe they have some special edition PSPs or, or special edition Nintendo DS's or something, and I think that makes a much more attractive uh, display for that item. Um, it works really well on basically all the current uh, handhelds. This is a 3DS, goes in there really nicely. If uh, you wanted to display it open, you sure could. Um, of course, if mine's turned on, but you might not want to leave yours on. Uh, going back a few years, I got a DSi. It works great there. Works great open as well. If I wanted to show off the system, uh, PSP 2000, it, it, it holds it just wonderfully. A uh, couple of the older ones, it works pretty well on. Uh, PSP 1000. It, PSP 1000 is a little bit fatter, so it's not perfect. And lastly, the original Fat DS. It holds it just like it was meant to hold it. Um, so if you had a bunch of handhelds you wanted to display, didn't want them laying flat on a shelf, you wanted them to look nice, maybe in with your game shelves or whatever, I would recommend looking into these. Nintendo does sell them separately. Um, Shop.nintendo.com they are $4 a piece. You're limited to five per order. And the last time I checked, it was $5 shipping. So you get five of these for $25. Uh, basically rounds to $5 each. Now, I was looking at that. I don't really have much of a use for that myself. I don't tend to keep my handhelds out in, out in display like that. But kind of just looking at the design of it, I thought, well, maybe I can come up with a cheaper alternative for that. I thought it looked pretty close to a business card holder. So I bought a couple of cheap business card holders just to give it a shot. Um, this one I got off Staples. It was 99 cents. I didn't have much luck with this one. It's two-sided. You could use either side. But this pocket here is very narrow. Um, most things just don't really work in it all that well. Um, even like the 3DS here. It'll hold it, but it kind of stands up too far upright and has a tendency to want to lean forward. Um, when I went to go buy this, the comments on there, someone said this makes a good iPhone uh, holder or stand. Maybe if you wanted to watch a movie or something on your iPhone, um, that's pretty good. This was 99 cents, um, you know, quite a bit cheaper than the official stand I'm talking about. Another one I bought just as a trial um, was this metal one. This is a little bit of a different design. Uh, it's got a very, very deep let me hold it up this way. That, that goes on for a while there, and it's not limited by having a lip at the end. Okay. Now, when I ordered it, the picture showed it having a lip. This is the image that Staples.com shows for this item. If you were to order it from them, I'm not sure if you would get an item with that lip or without, and it may make a difference depending on what you want to use it for. Um, as you shop business card holders, it's kind of obvious, but don't buy one that has sides on it. That's not going to be useful at all. And I would really personally avoid these wire mesh ones. That's a very, very textured surface, and I would be really af afraid of it scuffing the backs of my systems. Uh, this was $2.79, somewhere thereabouts, and it works pretty well too, um, especially if your handheld is more horizontally oriented. Um, 
it's not quite as good as the the dock because you know just the balancing of it is a little bit different but if you had a few of these I got a few ideas of what you could do with them as well. Now like I said this doesn't have a lip at the end so if you're displaying something vertically in it um, like, like a game case it's going to tend to flip off the front because the center of gravity goes above the peak here and it wants to flip down that way. There are a couple things you could do uh, if you just wanted to retrofit this to make it fit your needs. I was thinking of maybe the little uh, self-adhesive rubber stoppers that maybe you've seen on the bottom of some of your electronic equipment. Or I have, this is just a, uh, a hairband, really, it's a black hairband. You kind of put that around the front. And it kind of mitigates that problem to some degree. Um, to some degree, it's not perfect. But depending on what you're wanting to use it for, there are certainly ways to get around it. And like I said, if you ordered one, you may, or go to your own office supply store, you may find one that, that fits your needs. Um, I will tell you one thing that's better about this than this. This works much better for some of the older style handhelds, and I'll give you a, a rundown. Game Boy is where we start running into trouble. It's a little too tall and it wants to slide off, but it will hold it. Maybe barring an earthquake. This one I don't think is going to work. With Tara supervision, there's no way. Maybe if I did it that way or something. But And lastly, I've got these two Bandai Wonder Swans. Uh, it's kind of bulky because of the battery pack sticks out real far right there see that really well but it actually works pretty well in both stands here so in closing depending on what your needs are you may be able to find out that uh, since you may be buying these in bulk that you may want to go you know the route of a business card holder or you know getting the official Wii U game pad stand from Nintendo or maybe a mix of each just depending on what your individual needs are I have a few more game room ideas videos planned so hopefully I can share some more ideas with you and I hope you found this uh, video informative.